The job of a poet is to tell the truth. And everything flows from that. I don't know anything else that he's responsible for doing to tell the truth. Everything that I am now, I owe to my mother. Everything that I am now, I owe to my mother. Everything. My artistic talent, my writing talent, I'm well read and just, I have a lot of illusions in my poetry. Some say I'm an academic poet. But I came to poetry late. I never read much poetry until uh, my last year of high school. So I got a late start in knowing what poetry was and what it means and what it can do for people. So I had to study the craft in order to catch up with people who had been reading poetry all their lives. I simply have learned from poets before me. I began by trying to do what, what they do until I found my own voice. Now, I could never have become the poet I am without their example uh, before me. me. The tradition is formal poetry, knowing the craft. Another kind of rain came about as a result of my submitting a manuscript to the Pitt Poetry Series in 68 or 69. I was in Pittsburgh then, and um, I submitted it to the Pitt Poetry Series. It didn't win, but Paul Zimmer chose my manuscript anyway and wanted to publish it. I was still at the University of Pittsburgh in the master's program. Uh, I was a TA there. I went to NCC in 1969. From there I went to state in 1970. So I'd been teaching since I was in, in grad school. And when I got to state, I was the first black teacher there. I started teaching a black literature course. Then after other uh, black professors came in, I began teaching creative writing, which I'd always wanted to do. I decided I wanted to get a PhD. So I went to Chapel Hill and started taking courses. And when it came to the point where I realized I wasn't writing anymore, at that moment, I dropped the program and went back and finished my second book. It was published almost immediately, so I knew I'd made the right decision. I love being in the classroom more than anything else. I lost my voice almost completely, and uh, I didn't even sound like myself. So I got to the point where I was having to croak to get words out. Well, I had to stop. I just love sharing what I've learned with other people. I love seeing their enthusiasm. My whole theory about poetry is learning how to do everything you, you can do so that when you need it, it it's there. It's like uh, trying to build a, a house with only a hammer and a saw. You can't do it. You have to have the tools to build a complete house. You need the, all the tools and the toolkit of poetry to build a complete poem. Craft, to me, means learning how to scan, to use meter, rhyme and rhyme substitutes, the different uh, forms, sonnet, villanelle, sistina. I write from what I know. That's the only thing I can do. From what I know in my own life, and from what I read, I add to my own life the things that I've read and learned. Someone once said that a poet should know something about everything. Psychology, archaeology, philosophy, physics, and I know a little bit about all those things. So that has completed my voice. So it's made up of, I guess, confessions, speculations, stealing from other people. I guess it does come out to be a kind of recognizable voice of Gerald Barracks.